Hello everyone, welcome to Python from Scratch series again. So in the last video, we have covered the OOPS concept uh, using Python. In this video, we will be covering Python project tools. So in any application, you need some tool to build your project professionally. So similarly, in Python, you need some tool. And the first one is organize your project. How you organize your project uh, in a standard way so then multiple devs or multiple team members can work uh, simultaneously and they can follow a common standard practice now the next one is managing the libraries how you manage your libraries so when you will be building the python project as you know python has a lot of inbuilt libraries that you can directly use and uh, uh, you can develop your feature okay so you you do not need to write everything from scratch in the python okay so that's why we have to manage those libraries very carefully because if we do not manage it properly uh, the length or the size of the project can become very huge okay so i'll show you how you can do that then keeping your program running smoothly everywhere so you will have to make your uh, program compatible with all type of os and all so that is also one key requirement that you need to follow and then work like real developers so out of those tools one of the most important tool is virtual environment so virtual environment which we denote as vnv this is a separate isolated folder that contains its own python and its own libraries okay so for every project you will not install everything uh, in your machine in your local machine because when you work uh, on real projects you must be putting all those dependencies somewhere uh, that it's used for your locally locally and when you commit your code then someone else just install those uh, dependency and all those will be installed in their particular project in their particular folder virtual environment folder and from there uh, they can basically import those dependency and the project will work as it is it was working on your system so throughout the system throughout team members the project should work seamlessly that's why the virtual environment plays a very key role and it also makes your project very clean okay so i will show you how you can create a virtual environment how you can move your project to a virtual environment and depend and download all the dependency there now we have some crucial commands in python that we use so the first one is to create the virtual environment this python hyphen m v e n v and then second command is to move inside uh, that virtual environment how to how you can do it for windows how you can do it for mac both i've shown here and then you have you can deactivate your virtual environment and now uh, in python when you install python then there is a package manager inside python which is called pip okay so if you work on uh, any other uh, service like node so for node there is npm which is its package manager so similarly for python we have pip okay so when you install python pip automatically installs on your system and you can install any libraries using this command pip install and name of the library you can list all those uh, dependencies or libraries that you have installed by using the command pip list okay so i'm inside my vs code now i'll show you all those commands in uh, how they work uh, in your real project okay so i've created a simple python folder okay uh, basically this is my project i just i just named it as python okay now inside this project i'll be creating my and virtual environment where i'll be installing all my dependency so the command for that is python hyphen m v e n v and then environment na name you can provide any environment name okay i'm providing my v e n v okay uh, let's hit enter then you will notice on the left hand side it created the virtual environment it's still creating it it will take some time so as you can see uh, the virtual environment is all set up so it, it created some folders here so inside this lib folder we will be having all those all our dependencies so you can see inside our virtual environment we have pip already there okay so whatever library we will install we will 
we can notice all these are added inside this virtual environment automatically. Now, I want to move inside my virtual environment. Okay, so when you work, uh, uh, when you will working and creating your project, and if you want to use those dependencies that you have installed inside this virtual environment, you have to first move inside this virtual environment. So the command would be my env, basically this virtual environment, and inside this script folder is there, this, and then it has one activate script here, which will activate your virtual environment. So I'll hit enter. Okay, so I was doing a silly mistake here uh, with the name. So it was my env. I was using my env. Uh, okay, so now let's hit this command again. Yeah, so you can see this is my environment is activated. I'm inside my environment now. And if you want to exit from this environment, you can simply write deactivate and you will be able to come out of this virtual environment. Okay. Okay. So I've already provided a command for Mac. You can try that if you're using Mac. Uh, okay. Now let's see uh, if I can. Uh, yeah. So now let's see what all libraries I have. So for that, we have command pip list. Uh, sorry. Uh, for me, it will be python hyphen m pip list. Okay, so for now, I have only the pip as the dependency. If I want to uh, install other library, so how I can do that? So for that, I can simply write pip install and the name of the library numpy. Okay, and we just need to hit enter. Uh, okay, so I forgot every time my pip is inside this. Yeah, pip install numpy. Uh, don't get confused with this. Uh, for you, it, it should work like this. Uh, uh, pip install directly because my pip is installed inside my python uh, that's why i'm using this python hyphen m pip and then install numpy okay so both are both work same okay so let me install my numpy library so it is executing it so you can see it's collecting the numpy and started downloading it so uh, similarly, you can install any other library that you want to install in your Python project. So it is successfully installed. Now, if we just refresh it and you'll see the lib. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, it's showing. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, I came out of the virtual environment. That's why it's showing me like this. Yep, sorry for that. Let me go back to my virtual environment and then again let me hit uh, python hyphen m pip install numpy. Okay, so basically this numpy it, it installed uh, in my system, but I want to install it inside my virtual environment. Okay. So it's just taking the cache version of it and it installing it inside my virtual environment. So this is installed. Let me see. Yep. Now you can see my numpy is added inside my virtual environment. Now in a large scale project, you will not be installing all the dependency that we were installing like pip install and library name. So we will not be doing it like that because in large scale project, you will have multiple uh, dependency like 50, 50 plus, sometimes 100, 100 plus. So you will not install them one by one. So for that, what we do, we define all our dependency inside a file called requirements.txt. Okay, so we define the name of that dependency, exactly what, what is the name and the version we want. If we want the exact version, we use equal to. If we want somewhere greater than equal to, we provide like this. Okay, so let me show you now how it 
it will work automatically. It will install all those dependencies. So the command that we use is pip install hyphen r requirements dot txt. This is the file name. Hyphen r means read. And then uh, it will read all those dependency and it will start collecting and it will start adding all these two inside our virtual environment. So all these are added now. We can see our lift folder. So you can see all these dependencies and their sub dependencies are added. Now next comes the folder structure. You need to uh, be very uh, careful when you create your folder structure because uh, otherwise uh, you will not be able to manage a large scale application. Okay, if you create like this, uh, like inside my uh, project you will put all your python files one two three four and hundred or two hundred of files in just a single folder requirement or tst is also there any other uh, database related file is also there so it is not a good practice and it will create confusion for you okay so the other one is the recommended approach the professional structure that we follow so we create a virtual environment that I've shown you separately to keep our dependencies there. Then data uh, folder for all our data sets. Then SRC folder to put our source code where we put our all Python file, the logical file that we have. Okay. And then we have some notebooks folder if required in your project to add some Jupyter notebooks or other notebooks uh, related files. And then requirement of TST for your dependency uh, single point and then readme.md if it, it's there in your file. So we should follow this approach to make a clear and crisp uh, folder structure. I hope now you understand now the basic tools that you will be needing to work on the Python project. Okay, so uh, if you have any doubts, let me know in the comment section. Uh, now I'll see you in the next video. Thank you.